so the descriptive epidemiology is nothing but observation just by observation alone man was able to find out burkitt's lymphoma a type of cancer is caused by a virus called epstein barr virus in new guinea a slow neurological disorder called kuru is caused by a slow virus infection which was also found by just observational descriptive studies basically in descriptive epidemiology these are the six steps which we have to follow defining the population to be studied defining the disease under the study describing the disease by time place and person measurement of disease comparing with known indices formulation of an etiological hypothesis now we will deal this one by one first defining the population what is this uh, uh, population group it can be anything a particular age group a particularly male gender certain occupational group working in a factory school children small communities wherever we are able to count accurately the total number of people in that area they form a defined population so the defined means you know each and every person from 1 to 100 just an example but it is not 100 it can be endless but the number needs to be particularly very high if it is high then the denominator is very good so it ensures that the population groups can be compared with respect to each other because we know the population it is defined so that is why epidemiologists are called people who are always in search of denominator they really want to know the population in which they are going to conduct the study it should be clearly defined that's what an epidemiologist wants this population which an epidemiologist wants to find out is should be stable and there should be very less migration and the community must be uh, cooperating uh, participating in this study and the community should resemble other communities and also this community should have access to a health facility for problems so one classic example is framingham heart study where they were able to conduct a proper investigation of heart related problems why it is occurring by choosing a specific denominator population that is why today we know uh, heart diseases and its risk factors like salt cholesterol stress obesity smoking alcohol everything we know because this is one of the landmark study framingham heart study where we have a very good denominator where we have a very good accurate description of the study population next defining the disease under the study 